Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about products that surprised me and this video is in collaboration with one of my favorite people here on YouTube, Kelly Gooch. If you haven't checked out her channel yet, I will leave her link down below. She is amazing and when it comes to her channel, I never miss a video. She has the best ideas and she really varies her content so it's never ever boring. She does Shop My Stash and Project Pan. She also talks about new releases. She does drugstore makeup. She does high end, like a really good mix of both and she's also a cruelty free channel which is awesome I really enjoy her Instagram as well she does lots of mini tutorials on there and I get so inspired when I see her looks so definitely head over and check out her channel I think you are really gonna enjoy it so let's head into today's topic which is products that surprised me and the first one is the Sydney Grace Enduring Love Palette so this is the first product I ever purchased from Sydney Grace and a lot of you guys have been telling me for probably about a year or so that I needed to check out this brand and I don't know what made me not do it for so long. I think it was just because when I looked at this palette online, it didn't like completely wow me. I was looking at the color story and thinking, you know, it looks a little bit boring. I just, when I looked at it, I couldn't really think of like looks off the top of my head that I would come up with. And it just, I don't know, there was just something about it that didn't like immediately wow me. Not to mention that the price point of $52 is a little bit on the higher side for me. So for an unknown brand, I was kind of unwilling to spend that much much right off the start but I finally did because I just got so many requests I was like you know what I have to see what the hype is about and what everybody's talking about and once I tried this out I was blown away to the point where I bought a whole bunch of their singles and now I will literally buy every single thing they come out with because these shadows are so amazing first of all um, they're made in the USA they're a smaller indie brand and so the prices are a little bit higher for that reason but it's it's such good quality that now that I've tried it I don't mind spending the extra money on it when it comes to these shadows they blend effortlessly on your eyes the matte shades are so easy to work with even for somebody like me who's not very good at blending the shimmer shades are just out of this world incredible they are just so metallic so foiled on the eyes and they just show up beautifully I'm actually wearing this palette today and I just was super impressed with how incredibly pigmented they are. You don't have to wet these shadows or anything to get them to really pop on your eyes. So I really have you guys to thank for pushing me to try this brand because I'm so happy that I did. Next up, I have some drugstore palettes that also really surprised me. The first ones being these from LA Girl. These are the Pro Mastery and Pro Artistry palettes. They're about 15 bucks at Ulta. And oh my gosh, wait until you see the swatches of these because they're absolutely incredible. They're like high end quality and I was not expecting it at all because I've tried Ellie Girl's shadows in the past like they used to have those beauty brick eyeshadow palettes I think they actually still have them but those were just kind of powdery and dusty and didn't show up all that well these on the other hand are so beautiful so this one is pro mastery and it's just like a really beautiful kind of like rosy toned neutral palette and I'll go ahead and show you the swatches of it because like I mean it's just wow like this is not over primer this is on dry skin I think the matte shades are super silky they almost have like a velvety feel to them and they blend beautifully and then the shimmers I think are really like some of the best shimmer shades at the drugstore they're absolutely amazing and next up we we have the Pro Artistry palette and this one has kind of a mix of neutrals in the top two rows and then also you have some gorgeous like jewel tones in here you have these greens and blues the orange is really beautiful as well this gray is one of my favorite lid colors it's so pretty so I'll show you the swatches of this one as well and like I said it's just the most beautiful quality so I hope that LA Girl continues to make palettes like these because they're so good and so affordable and totally worth it and then one more palette at the drugstore that really surprised me for kind of the same reason because I had been burned from this brand in the past is the Maybelline Nudes of New York. So when this came out, there were a bunch of you guys in my comment section on YouTube and also on Instagram when I first started talking about this saying that you would never buy another Maybelline palette again because the previous ones were so terrible. And I completely agree with you guys. I would definitely not recommend this palette if I didn't think that the quality had improved significantly and it really truly has this is unlike anything that Maybelline has ever done 
in the past. It's a totally new formula and it is really, really good. Like it compares to a lot of my higher end palettes. This is actually color story wise, very similar to Soft Glam. And when I swatched the two of them side by side, I was actually blown away by how similar they are, both in color and also just the formulas. Like I thought that these matte shades and shimmer shades were right up there with Soft Glam when it came to both swatching and applying them to the eyes. I think these work really beautifully. The matte shades are not like super powdery so they don't blend away. I think they have really good like sticking power to your eyes but not so much so that they're hard to blend. It's like that perfect happy medium and the shimmer shades too are just really like buttery and soft and super pigmented. So I was really really shocked when I tried this. I wasn't expecting to like it because I know Maybelline has had really terrible eyeshadows in the past but it's super good. Next up I have a BB cream that really surprised me and it's become one of my absolute favorites this summer and that's the Misha Chobayang BB cream. So I had originally been using this one which is the Misha Perfect Cover and so many other YouTubers talked about this that I ended up purchasing it and I did like it but there are things about it that I don't like. First of all um, the shade range is not that great but I'm in shade 21 which is pretty close and unfortunately this is a little bit on like the grayish side and I find that that happens pretty often when it comes to KB beauty complexion products. Another thing I didn't like about this one is that it has kind of a glowy dewy finish and I don't mind like dewy but this one is a little bit more on the glowy side where it kind of calls attention to my pores and fine lines and now that I'm over 40 I'm kind of trying to minimize that so I usually don't want to wear something that has like this much glow to it. So when I picked this one up it had really good reviews on the Yes Style website and I was kind of expecting it to be pretty similar but I was actually blown away by this and I already actually have another backup tube of it because I like it that much. So I'll show you quickly what it looks like next to the Perfect Cover because these are both shade 21, but I just think that the Chobayang one looks a lot more natural in terms of the color and the tone. I think it's just beautiful. It's like the perfect match for my skin. And another thing that I love about this is that it isn't glowy at all. It's not matte either. It just has a perfect satiny skin-like finish and it just like becomes one with my skin, but it also has amazing coverage that doesn't end up looking cakey or heavy so being like I said over 40 it's like my dream foundation because it's not too glowy it doesn't settle into my fine lines it also because I have really dry skin it doesn't cling to dry patches it almost feels like a moisturizer going on but with like a lot of coverage to it so this has become holy grail for me and when I ordered it originally I wasn't expecting to love it but I really really do it is absolutely perfect and then another complexion product I didn't expect to love but I have already purchased just like three or four tubes of it is the Joa Dark Circle Concealer. So originally I was using the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer for under my eyes. It has the same kind of like foam applicator on the top, but I tried this thinking like maybe it'll be kind of similar and I ended up liking this one so much more. I actually haven't repurchased the Maybelline now since I got this because I just love how this one brightens up my under eye area, but somehow it doesn't accentuate any kind of texture under my eyes. So my my under eye wrinkles go right underneath when I smile and that's where I put my concealer so I've always had trouble with concealer settling into those creases and this doesn't do that it just actually makes my under eye area look smoother somehow I don't know how it does it but it's a really like thin lightweight texture and it just perfects my under eye area it covers everything that I need it to I don't have particularly stubborn dark circles but I do have a little bit of darkness and it covers that up really nicely I would say it's probably like a solid like light to medium coverage that you can build up and that's the other great thing about this is when I do build it up a little bit it doesn't get very heavy it doesn't get cakey so I just am in love with this stuff I've purchased it so many times like I said and I actually have a couple backup tubes of this because I'm so afraid that Joa is not going to be around at some point and then I won't be able to get it I don't hear anybody talking about Joa and I think as a whole their products have been very hit or miss for me so I kind of worry that they're not going to be around anymore but hopefully Hopefully that's not the case. And then next up I have a couple of cheek products that really surprised me. The first one is this matte bronzer from Koki Cosmetics and this is in the shade Sunlit Peach and they actually sent this to me in PR and when I saw this I said no way am I going to use that as a bronzer. It looks so orange in the pan but then I decided to try using it as a blush and it is the most beautiful blush. I'm actually
actually wearing it today and it has a gorgeous like satiny finish so it has just the slightest like hint of glow to it it's not a glowy blush it doesn't have sparkle or shimmer but it just doesn't look like flat matte on your cheeks so it just like makes your cheeks look really healthy and glowy and I love this color so much as a blush I think it's beautiful because it's like even though it has a little bit of like warmth to it it's also kind of neutral so anytime I'm wearing like a more colorful eye like today I have the green on my eyes I think this just pairs beautifully with it because it's not too much color you know so I find myself reaching for this one a lot especially when I'm wearing more color on my eyes or lips and I I never thought I would say that because when I first opened this package I thought like no way I'm not gonna like this so I'm super glad that I found another use for it and another blush that I really wasn't quite sure that I was gonna like is the Natasha Denona Bloom Highlighting Blush. So this one, um, when I saw it online, I said that looks really pretty, definitely wanna order that, but then I got it home. When I opened it up, I was like, oh my gosh, this looks so like sparkly and shimmery, not to mention the color looked a lot darker in person than it did on the website. So I just thought this was gonna be like crazy on me. And as it turns out, it is so beautiful. It's like one of the prettiest blushes in my collection. And it's just like this gorgeous kind of pinky coral shade that's been perfect for summer. I reached for it all the time and even though I don't like to wear highlighter these days because it accentuates the pores and texture on my cheeks I find that this doesn't really do that that much and I find that like having that little bit of glow kind of makes it look like I applied highlighter even when I didn't so I think it's kind of a great two-in-one product if you just want like a really beautiful glowy look and you don't really want to apply highlighter or take that extra step I think this is perfect for that and the color actually really surprised me too that it's not as dark as I thought it was gonna be I think it's so beautiful all right and then last but not least is a lip product and this one is the elf ride or die lip balm so when I saw these on the elf website I was already buying some other stuff and I figured I would just pick up a few shades to try and these surprised me so much by how like rich and emollient they are in a way they remind me a lot of the bite beauty agave lip mask the original one before they reformulated it these are beautiful like they're so super hydrating and they feel amazing on your lips and I love the colors too like these have become my go-to lip balms that I wear almost every single day the summer especially this shade right here tough cookie which is the one I'm wearing on my lips and these have really saved my lips this summer I don't normally think about my lips drying out in the summer versus the winter but it's actually been a really hot summer here in Connecticut so we've been inside a lot in the air conditioning more than usual and this is the first summer that I really feel like my skin and my lips and everything feels a little bit more dry than it usually does this time of year and these have really like saved my lips like every time they feel dry I just put a little bit of this on and I'm good to go next time I place an order on the elf website I'm actually gonna get the clear version too to wear at night because I think this would make an amazing sleeping mask as well I just think they have the best texture for just sealing all that moisture in and really locking it in for a lot of the day so um, let me show you guys some swatches that I did from a previous video where I tried on all three shades and I mean I just think these are so beautiful first we have um, tough cookie which is the one I'm wearing today and this one is just like a gorgeous nude it's like a deep kind of pinky nude shade almost like a your lips but better and then we have just peachy which is a really like beautiful light peach shade I love this one as well and then the last one is boss berry and this one again just super pretty so even though there's only a couple shades I think they did a really great job with the shade selection and there's just something for every day so really been enjoying these a lot all right guys so that's everything I hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and also I'd love to hear from you down in the comments below let me know what products have surprised you lately I always love hearing from you guys and thanks to all of you for hanging out with me today please don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you go and I'll see you all in my next video take care guys bye